Good morning, America. So my last video, I told you guys I was getting a Grand Sport to replace my 2016 uh, Camaro 2SS. And uh, that with the 2SS, I was hoping to get a daily driver that I could also track. And so I'd done some modifications to it for that reason. Um, and I wasn't totally satisfied, so I ended up getting a Corvette Grand Sport, and again, my goal is hopefully I can come up with a car that I could daily drive and track, and I don't know if that's uh, reasonable or not, but that's what I'm going for here. This is my new daily driver, uh, 2019 Grand Sport. Um, this is a 2LT package, manual. I did a custom order, so you can see I got Kalahari interior. Um, I got a couple different roofs. I got a couple different wheel sets, um, stripes, um, trying to keep it, uh, classy, but sporty looking, um, went kind of chill on the arrow and yeah, Abel Chevy represent, uh, carbon fiber dash manual Kalahari interior. It's currently got the polycarbonate roof on it. I do have a matching body color roof on it. The polycar uh, polycarbonate roof gives me a little more headroom. I'm six foot three and with a helmet on, I didn't fit with the regular roof. So uh, pro tip for you tall guys, if you're gonna track your Corvette, get the polycarbonate roof. Um, I actually have about a quarter of an inch space between my helmet and the roof, which with the stock roof, I do not. So this is just gonna be a quick, brief overview for this car. I'm not going to be able to do it justice in one video. The difference between the Corvette and the Camaro, I think is massive. Um, there's a, it's, it's a bit subtle, um, but the, everything from the way it handles to the way it drives, to the way it accelerates and puts down power is a lot different. And I think it owes to the chassis itself. The Corvette is a totally different chassis. It's built much better. Um, I can just, you know, even though, even though it has the same motor, it accelerates a whole lot better. It puts power down better. Um, it's not as quick to break loose. Um, and I think it owes much of that to the chassis as well as to the massive tires. It's got 335s in the back and 285s in the front. So there's a lot going on here. Um, it's dirty. Uh, I got the car uh, five days ago. It has 400 50-ish miles on it. I'm trying to get the 500 miles in it so I could get the first oil change done. And then I have its first two track days scheduled uh, five days from now. So I'm going to go to Thunder Hill here in Northern California for the Hooked on Corvettes event, which is a HPDE event, but just for Corvettes. And they've got the three-mile course on Thursday, the five-mile course on Friday, and I'm going to break it in proper. So this is just a kind of quick intro to the car. I'll be doing some detailed reviews and comparisons between it and the Camaro, but um, in brief, it's totally different, and it's a great car. Um, and it, not to mention, it doesn't look bad either. So, yeah, that's the new Grand Sport. Tell me uh, what you guys think. I know my tastes are not everybody's tastes. The cool thing is when you do a custom order, you can uh, build the car however you want. And this is just how I want it. I like it. Happy birthday to me. Take care, y'all.